Hey everyone, this is Ken Klippenstein with TYT Investigates. I'm going to be talking to you about a controversial decision by the Pentagon to classify much of its uh, military operations at the southern border. This is the southern border deployment um, that President Trump decided to put in effect. Um, and now they're operating in uh, near total secrecy as to what exactly they're doing. And um, as recent reporting shows, uh, their decision to classify much of their operations at the border is not, you know, some kind of a coincidence. It seems like it was specifically to withhold information from um, the media and, by extension, the public as to what's going on with this mission. I think, you know, any reasoning person can see why that's problematic, but I also want to point out that this is without precedent. The documents that they've moved to classify, the information that they've moved to classify about the southern border operation historically has been um, unclassified, has been uh, stuff you can you know talk about. When uh, you say that something is classified, that means that if it's released to the press or someone not authorized to have it, that is a criminal penalty and the um, Justice Department can actually go after the individual who releases that um, and you know threaten them with long prison um, sentences. So this is going to have a chilling effect um, on people's decision to come forward to uh, individuals such as myself, representatives of the news media, to tell them what our government is up to. Um, again, I think it's clear why that's problematic. I want to juxtapose that with um, you know, how the government rationalizes its mass surveillance programs and surveillance of um, us in general, which is that they say, what have you got to hide? Why do you care if we surveil you if you have nothing to hide? Well, I want to turn that around and we could easily apply that to the government and say, well, what does the government have to hide that um, now they're classifying military operations and not even just military operations. It's one thing to classify ones going on in Afghanistan or Iraq, for instance, but these are ones happening on U.S. soil. So operations, uh, that is to say, conduct of the U.S. government taking place in our country, in our name, within our borders, um, is now uh, a secret, a secret from the public. Um, I think that's extraordinarily dangerous. It already was dangerous, um, the military operation of the southern border, as I've reported in the past. Um, having the military operate domestically has a negative effect on civil liberties. Um, there are restrictions against it. There's the Posse Comitatus Act going back to the post-Civil War era, um, placing severe restrictions on the military's ability to operate domestically, because you don't want that. You don't want a military government. You don't want to have the same forces that we have operating in other countries um, operating here because um, that has an effect on the democratic process. So I'm going to read from you um, an article written by the excellent reporter Jim Laporte. I encourage everyone to check him out. He's a former Marine himself. He now writes for Newsweek about military issues, has very good sources. The article that um, we know about all this from is uh, titled Exclusive Military Documents About U.S.-Mexico Border Are Now Classified to Prevent Leaks, Limit Media Coverage. I link to that in the um, video description if you want to check it out. But essentially what he uh, found was that um, they're specifically looking to, quote, stamp out leaks and limit media coverage of military operations at the U.S.-Mexico border by making what historically have been unclassified orders and daily briefings classified. So I have to wonder, what changed if these have always been unclassified? What has become so different in this situation now that they have to keep it secret? You know, I submit that um, nothing has dramatically changed and that they're doing this because um, it's embarrassing. They don't like the leaks. And um, this report points out that there have been a number of leaks. I've reported several of these leaks um, from folks within the um, Defense Department who bravely um, came forward with information so that us, the public, can know, you know what our government is doing. Um, and their goal now is to specifically deprive the media and the public of that information. And I can see why, because it's not a popular mission. Um, President Trump's immigration policies, poll after poll, have shown um, while they're popular with his base, they're extraordinarily unpopular with uh, much of the rest of the country. So um, I want to look at some quotes that he managed to get, which are quite interesting. Um, he also had an individual by the name of of um, Lieutenant General Jeffrey Buchanan, who was the previous commander of the military force that was operating on the southern border. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, he retired in July, and he actually tells um, uh, uh it, it looks like he has a number of sources indicating it to him that um, as uh, successive leadership has gone on, they're actually putting less stuff in paper and issuing more of these orders verbally. You know, I'm a reporter. I cover national security issues. I can tell you what that means. If you don't want the public to know something, you don't put it in paper. You say it in words. You don't want something getting leaked. So in addition to the classification, they are um, adopting a sort of posture um, that ensures secrecy generally 
uh, which is, you know, it's bad enough that they're classifying it, but they're not even putting in paper. So maybe 20 years from now, we can't have it declassified if they're only issuing these directives verbally. Um, so that's dangerous in itself. Um, let me see here. Yet another interesting quote um, from a spokesperson for um, the U.S. Uh, military deployment who says, quote, because of our mission, this is kind of, you know, I'll tell you the Pentagon side of the story where they try to defend why they're doing this. Because of the mission, the De Department of Defense has to take appropriate measures to ensure sensitive information, electronic or otherwise, is properly safeguarded and, and appropriately handled. He goes on to say, over the last year, more than 20 documents with these caveats were appropriate, inappropriately released. Um, and he's talking about with respect to the border mission. So they are embarrassed that you, the public, are finding out what they're doing at the border. And it looks like that is why they're adopting this new um, posture of secrecy. Um, again, I have to ask, what do they have to hide? I mean, if they're not doing anything wrong, why do they care if we know about it? Because this used to be unclassified in the past. Um, and so he then quotes Brad Moss, who's actually a national security attorney at uh, the law firm that's representing the Ukraine whistleblower, who's at the heart of the impeachment investigation. So I thought that was a pretty interesting quote for him to get. And he says, the repeated need, he says, quote, uh, the repeated need by agencies in the Trump administration to store unclassified information on classified systems is reflective of the difficulty the agencies have faced over the last few, three years in concealing controversial details from the public. Again, he's saying what I was just telling you, which is that these are embarrassing programs, and that's why they're classifying them. Not because it's a threat to national security. There is such a thing as, you know, we don't want the nuclear codes out, for instance. We don't want to have spies' identities leaked out. You know, I'm not against uh, secrecy, you know, in totality. There are certain instances where it does have to be applied. But it looks like in this instance it's being applied to um, preserve the administration's reputation. Um, and that's not that's not legal, and that's not how it's supposed to work. Um let me see here. And then he quotes an, a Marine official who uh, requested anonymity because you can get in big trouble if you're talking without permission of a supervisor or of a spokesperson. He says, quote, and I thought this quote was chilling, one of the most secretive military operations is the one happening in the United States now. He's talking about the one at the border. And this just made it more difficult to keep tabs on. And that's the essence of why I wanted to um, you know, bring this to your guys' attention. Um, it... Uh, it's extremely dangerous to be running a mission like this in the in domestically in the first place. I mean, uh, if you want to handle border stuff, we have plenty of law enforcement agencies, especially post 9-11, that can handle that. Why do we need the military, which is tasked with, you know, um, deterring foreign governments? I mean, it's a big thing to have operating, essentially keeping, you know, poor Hondurans from sneaking into the country. Um, and now it's secret. 